Hi guys, so it's Sam and Amber here from Shropshire Dormice Group. Um, I'm talking you through what Amber's about to do, just in case you can't hear her very well through her mask. So this box had a dormice nest with a torpid dormice in last uh, month. So protocol is to pop the duster in the back. We don't take the lid off because we know there's a dormice nest. So Amber is going to take this box straight off the tree and pop it in a bag. Now as you can see what she's going to do next is take the duster out the back and put it out the bag and take the lid off and this gives any animals that are in there the opportunity to jump out into the bag if they want to, if they're awake. So if you have a quick peek, it looks like we have brown leaves so that's very different to what was in there last month. It can happen that a mouse moves in on top of a dormouse nest. Um, but now I'm just going to check the nest and see if there's anyone home. So she's going to probe all the corners. This will also help her to kind of feel the structure. And we have someone jumped out into the bag. So we can see we have a lovely little dormice in there. Active dormice. So what Amber will try to do now, um, so it's like a very active dormouse, is encourage that dormouse into the bag and move the box into a separate bag. And this is so that if there's any other dormice in there, it's easier to um, process them separately rather than lots of them jumping around in one bag. So Amber is going to handle the dormice and process them and we're going to talk you through what we do. Obviously she's wearing a mask according to coronavirus protocol, so I'm talking just in case you can't hear her. So at the moment she's getting the active dormice into her hands and you let it run through until it sort of feels like you've got it secure in your hands, um, you're not gripping the dormice too tightly or anything like that and this enables you to get it into a position to flip it upside down so you can look at their bits and then we can have a look at the, the sex of the dormice. Okay. Okay, so we have a male dormouse. Amber's now put in the dormouse into a little bag so that it can be weighed. And we'll make sure we weigh the bag as well so we can take the weight of the bag away from the weight of the dormouse. Twenty, twenty-one grams. Twenty-one grams. So usually the bag's about seven. So we've got quite a decent-sized dormouse. Um, we we'll also have a look see if there's any white bits. So some dormice seem to have white tips on their tails, white bits on their bellies, that kind of thing. You can see them just there. So they look quite grey. Um, so they're not very old. It's quite difficult to tell at this point. Usually at this time of year we would not have um, young dormice, so we would say that they are an adult. We have however had juveniles last month on one of our sites, so um, it's quite difficult to decide whether this is an adult that was born last year or a juvenile from this year, but we think we're going to go with an adult. They were found last month and we know that because they've got a very distinctive tail scar. You can just see that there. Um, and being found last month on their own, it's likely that they weren't born this year. And so we've already weighed this dormice um, with some spring balance scales. So Amber's now popping the dormice back into the nest box. So we've checked there's no other dormice in there. We should post that the dormice in. Often you have to tickle their, tickle their bum to make sure they pull their tail back inside. Hopefully they're not going to run out into the bag again, which can happen. And then once they've tucked their little tail away, uh, what Amber will do is <laughs> put the duster in. Um, that might happen sometime this morning. <laughs> Often they do sit like that and they just don't want to uh, pull their tail inside. Um, so there we go. I tucked away, I'm just going to put the duster back in the box and then this box can go back on the tree and then she'll take the duster out as we, as we move away. So 
So thank you very much for watching guys, hope that's been useful for you.